This video will give you a quick overview of the ePortfolio that pre-service teachers create in EDUC331, which is a phase two class in the teacher licensure program at the Center for Educator Preparation in CSU. So to start, you're looking at the Weebly Editor. I model for students using the Weebly Editor because it's intuitive, easy to use, and free. However, I let students make their own choice about what tool to use to create their ePortfolio. You'll notice that we are on the home page in the navigation bar, and this is where the students get to introduce themselves to the reader. So they'll put in a picture of themselves. Um, it probably isn't the one they'll use when they finish student teaching, but it is getting them used to the process of putting a picture in and selecting professional um, photos of themselves and they do begin to write their teacher biography. These are the skills and experiences that they have and will bring into their classroom. And then they also include on these, this page links to their teaching philosophy and their resume. Uh, they can add experiences and work history, honors and awards, we do create a professional blog in 331 and they can um, include their contact information if they choose. You'll notice that under the home are two subpages. Um, we teach the students that you should have multiple ways for your readers to access the information. So you should be able to access the teaching philosophy and the resume from the um, subpages under the in the navigation bar, or they will create links on their page to um, those specific pages. We just create a plank, blank placeholder for the teaching philosophy in 331. They add a label and a short message indicating that this page is under construction. And then when they develop this in their future classes, they will be able to enter it onto their ePortfolio. The same is true with the resume. We in 331 just create a page, label it, and say that it's under construction. We do create a placeholder for EDUC 351, for, and that's the secondary course. The corresponding early childhood course is EDUC 425. This page is ready for them when they get into those courses so that they can create a mini standards portfolio in those classes. The same is true for EDUC 450, which is the secondary class, and EDUC 426 is the ECE, or the Early Childhood class. We make a placeholder for their student teaching page. Um, we create a page and enter a page title, and then buttons that take the reader to all four standards pages so that the reader can access any standards page from any of the other student teaching pages or from the navigation bar. In student teaching, they will do a professional presentation description as well as an introduction to their portfolio and a reflection on the dispositions. The framework we set up in 331 for the standards page includes the text of each teacher quality standard and a space for the reflection. That includes each of the elements and a text box where students can enter their reasoning statement that explains why the artifact they've chosen aligns with the standard that they're talking about and a placeholder for their artifact. Um, and you'll notice that all of the elements for standard one are on the same page and links to the other standards pages at the bottom. 
I let them choose the format and the tools for their standards pages because their ePortfolio should represent them as an educator. So you'll notice that the previous page had just a, an icon that represented a, a PDF document. The scribe document allows the reader to have a preview and then to click on it and open it up. So they choose the layout that they're going to use for their um, standards ePortfolio. However, I encourage them to keep it consistent um, from one page to the next so that their reader can follow their path. All right. In 331, we also complete a teacher blog to introduce them to that concept. And, and one of the ways we talk about building and maintaining a digital presence as an educator. So we build the framework in 331 for the standards um, ePortfolio. And then in the other courses, the students in, with their experiences continue to build this ePortfolio throughout their program at CSU.